go. Good morning, everybody. Today is the 21st of March here at Always in Stitches in Noblesville. The weather's gorgeous. I just got to say the weather is gorgeous. But, you know, we've had snow in April before, so we're not... I mean, I know Peter's already got some things planted in his garden. <laughs> risky, that's all I'm saying. It is risky. risky. It is risky, I'm not going to lie. I always heard you weren't supposed to print plant your annuals until after mother's day well so. i checked on my lettuce babies and they're doing good are they yeah my do time you have emergency quilts for them when they uh get a little nippy at night uh-uh no no but i just you might might want to make one my emergency um is the home depot oh okay <laughs> go get some more go get some more when they die <laughs> when they die oh you're crazy okay well Today we're in our new studio. We've moved everything. We're no longer in Lenine's office. We have our own space. We got kicked out. Uh, yeah, we got kicked out. We were too noisy. Uh, we've got a. We now have our uh, uh, cutting table back, and we have our big long uh, ironing board back. So we are super duper happy. And you might we're, hear some noise in the background because we're still remodeling a bit. We're on the third studio. Yeah, we're. Hey, we are, aren't we? <laughs> They just don't know what to do with us. We're like the red-headed stepchild. We are, aren't we? They just don't know what to do with us. Hey, pretty soon we'll have the whole building and the rest of them can just be out in the garage. That's what I have to say about that. We got lots of good response on our scrappy comment. We, we did. Were, yeah, we were so happy about that. We loved reading all those comments. And uh, we picked two winners. We used a random... Um, word picker thing that you get on the internet and Peter did it this morning before the video and you just got to trust that Peter's honest and uh, we wouldn't have hired him if he wasn't so the winner is Michelle Swanberg what'd and, she win what'd she win well I'm gonna tell I'm gonna say the first one okay. to come or the first one to call gets their choice between the Christmas one or the Kansas Trouble Patriotic one. So I'm not going to assign them. I'm going to let them choose. Oh, okay. Okay? So, Michelle, give us a call here at the shop. Always in Stitches in Noblesville, Indiana. Um, Peter will put the um, details down at the bottom of the arrow. This is Freedom Road. Freedom Road by Kansas Troubles. And this one is Poinsettia. Plaza by Three Sisters. So pretty. I have this collection at home. I love it. And it's, uh, one of these is going to go to, are you ready? Is there a drum roll? We should have had a drum roll for Michelle. Sharon Powell. I love scrappy quilts, she says. So she's right along with us, right? She loves scrappy quilts. So I'm going to give this to the girls up front or to Jennifer. If you call, you'll talk to Jennifer. If you come in, you'll see the girls up front. And we'll let everybody know uh, that uh, the winners have been chosen. So this month, I mean this week, what I want you to do is I want you to tell me if you want to do one four-inch block a week or two. If we do one a week, we're going to be here for 72 weeks. That's longer than a year. Aren't there only 52 weeks in a year? Uh-huh. So yeah. uh, that's a big commitment. So if you want to do two blocks a week, I can handle that. Um, just let us know in the comments, uh, yay or nay, two or one, and uh, we'll take all those comments to heart and we'll decide what we're going to do from there on. They're so fast. Oh, and once you make one, you just get in the mood. You want to make more and more and more. So... Um, I waited until yesterday to do mine because I had some other things to do, but and I was tired. But I just wanted to make. I wanted to keep going. I had to stop myself. It was just crazy. A couple things before we get started on that though, is I want to share with you my girlfriend Tammy. She's featured in the uh, Better Homes and Gardens American Patchwork and Quilting magazine. Hi for, Tammy. Hi Tammy. For, Hi, Tammy. Um, I don't know which it's one in the this barcode. was. It's in the barcode there. Oh, it doesn't say. Yeah, it just says display till issue, February 4th. Issue 174. 174, and it's this new uh, Blackbird Fabrics. The new Blackbird Fabrics, which is coming very soon to a shop near you, which is Noblesville. 
our shop is getting it. And we will be able to kit this quilt. Isn't it beautiful? It's stunning. I just love it. I'm going to buy the kit just oh, for the fabric. Oh, there it is. There's the whole quilt. I'm buying the kit just for the fabric. Are you? You could buy a fat quarter bundle. I'm sure we're going to fat quarter bundle with some of it. Mm. And if we don't, you can request a fat quarter bundle. You know, we're here to please. We are here to please. So that's a beautiful quilt. I love the way she went around with the colors. And that looks brown, but it's really purple. And come and see it. It's hanging in the shop. Yeah, we do have the sample. We have the exact one, the one that was photographed for this magazine. Yep, the exact one. We have it right one. here. I brought it home with me. I put it in my suitcase, and then I called her and said, oh, by the way, I've got the quilt in my suitcase. So, no, that's not really what happened. <laughs> she said I could bring it. And then I was looking at, you know, you said you wanted me to do a book review every week. And I was looking through the books, and I could not believe what I found. I could not I believe couldn't it. Either. We've had this book for over a year. Let's see. Six of 21. So not quite a year, right? Right. But unbelievable. This is written by Paula Barnes, one oh, of our favorite Paula. designers for Marcus Fabrics. Paula's, the, Paula's awesome. Step Back in Time. And it's all reproduction uh, blocks and quilts. It's pretty awesome. Let me show you some of the quilts that are my favorite. Now, Peter loves the bear paw. Now, she calls this the mountain, delectable mountain. Some people call that delectable mountain when it's not a full, when oh, it's a half square triangle, half. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and what I love about her is that she gives a little history on each of the quilts. So that's kind of fun. Okay, this next one, I uh, love. Love, love. Now, Peter, I could see this with your black, your cheddar, and your purple. Oh, yeah. You know how you were putting that cheddar with the purple, and I loved it uh -huh. so much? Uh -huh. I thought to myself when I saw this quilt, I said, oh, man, that You're would right. just be gorgeous with that. You're right. So uh, that's a good one. And this is a six-by-six six box. So, again, the blocks are not that huge. They're nice little compact uh, quilts. I love me a row quilt. Uh, I don't know what it is about row quilts that I love so much, but I do a lot of row quilts, and I like these. They're set on point. The blocks are all set on point, but this is unusual because you've got a row of small blocks. Every other one is um, a nine patch and then a star, nine patch and a star, and then these, and then you've got a section of wide ones. I've never seen a row block like this before, a row quilt, and then repeats this back over here. So I think that's really pretty, and I love how she puts that red in between, don't you? Mm -hmm. That was so gorgeous. So uh, you're not showing this side of the page, are you? The, we don't want to get in trouble with Paula. Okay. Uh, you know how I feel about turn dash. I love a turn dash. And look at how fun this is. She not only has separated them out with half square triangles, but look at this fun envelope uh, block Ooh. that she's put on the corners. Ooh. Not real noticeable, but kind of fun to kind of look at how it makes this square uh -huh. with the dark fabrics. Fabric placement is so important. Don't you find, Peter? It is. See, that's what really makes... makes the see, pattern. these have light backgrounds. Mm -hmm. They all have the same sashing, but these have the dark backgrounds, and so she did that envelope uh, in the corners to make that corner work out like that. That took a lot of thought, didn't it? Yeah, I love it that. That's very impressive, though. I love that. I might be doing that one. I might be doing that sometime. Because I do like that. And then, I have never done a low-volume quilt. Have you? It's so pretty. No, I haven't. And for summer, that would just be so nice. Uh, but I've always just tended to go with the dark fabrics. So, I may challenge myself next year to do a low volume quilt, and this could be a good contender. Maybe that's what we do. We do a low volume quilt next year. Mm -hmm, maybe. That'd be fun. Yeah, it would challenge me. I know that for sure. It would challenge me. Yeah, and then this was what I wanted to show you. What's, What's this? the name? What's this? Look at the name up here. Um, it's the potato chip quilt. It's the potato chip stars. She calls it potato chip stars. Anyway, this is the whole reason wow. that we started this four-inch 
journey is because of the potato chip quilt. So this is and all Paula's fault. Paula's fault. <laughs> Paula started the whole thing. And what was really fun is uh, the little history that she gave about, oh, cool. the, about the potato chip and why she calls it the potato chip and then how she does it. So, uh, and that's a nice layout. That's gorgeous. Yeah, isn't that pretty? So this is a really nice book. It's got several more quilts that I didn't show you, but um, we've got a, a few in stock. If we, if you don't get yours and you want to order one, we know how to do that too. How many so, thumbs up do you give that book, Dawn? Oh, I give it. Uh, are we giving thumbs up or stars? No, we're doing thumbs up. Thumbs up, definitely. How many? Just one? One. I have two thumbs. Okay. So is two better than one? Yes. Two thumbs up. All right. All right. Excellent. So I wanted to share that with you today. Then, let's get to the blocks. This is what we're working out of, Schoolgirl Sampler. And here's block one. You know I'm doing it out of my Kim Deal. And then I've decided to call this, uh, what did I decide to call it? PMB, Peter's Memory Blocks. PMB. PMB. These are my PMB blocks. PMB. Yeah. So that was the first one. And then we got the KD block. And then there was the second one. And I'm loving that you guys are posting them on the Insiders page. Everybody is getting to see them and they're just so much fun. So it came time to work on this block and I've done this. Look at this. Isn't that fun? Now let me get the paper, uh, let me get the book version. Here's the book's version, okay? So mine looks very similar. Uh, she used kind of a greenish gold here, which I pumped up the gold a little bit to make it a little bit more yummy. Uh, but I used like a really uh, dominant um, pattern here, like she did, and then kind of a lower volume pattern here like she did. I use black on the corners, but I love my black because it carries the colors. Isn't that fun? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. So, but it looks very similar, don't you think? Mm -hmm. And then this is going to be next week's vlog. And do I have something to tell you about this block? Yes, I'm block. so excited about that. But today I'm going to, uh, we're going to work with this block right here. And I decided... These are Pam Buddha fabrics because that's that's what fabric this uh, fabric Peter uh, bought me, uh, gave me, came from. And so I pulled some of my fabrics. I've got a nice collection now. I've got, I've added some colors. I've added these purples and these golds mm. and oranges and these greens and these browns and grays. Before I just had the blues the reds and pinks and the blacks. So I've added some and uh, I'm really pleased with that. So let's see, let's get out my fabric colors. So this is going to be this, okay? That's what this is gonna be. So now I have to choose something for in here. So before I picked this, let me be honest with you, before I added these extra colors, I picked my fabrics. So I'm just going to go with them because I, I like the choices. So in the middle here, I think I'm going to go with this red and blue. And the reason, I was going to try and work pink into it, but I just didn't like how the pink looked next to this. I love how that looks next to that, and I love how that looks next to that. So, uh, I was going to go with this really dark blue, but I thought it overpowered this red too much. And I, I want them to go together. I want them to be friends. I don't want them to fight with each other. So, I chose the lighter one. Now, they both ha are busy and small scale. See how this one has a smaller scale and this one has a little bit bigger scale? That makes that nice. But this has the same scale, but they're so two different colors that I think it'll be okay. 
think I'll be happy with that. And then I was just happy with the blacks on the outside corners, so I'm going to stick, and I just picked a black. So uh, that's how this is going to go down, okay? All right, I'm going to put my fabrics back. I like to stay organized with my fabrics, you know. So, I've got to peek under the curtain to see what i got to cut. Where is this? From the lights. Two and two. I did that. So, from the dark, which is this, I've got to cut. Okay, now, Peter last week said, how do you know when you can bump up the seven eighths? And I thought about that. I gave him a flippant answer, I think, because I really don't know how to explain it. I really don't. I just know that if it stays the same size and doesn't get, doesn't get uh, squared up, then you have to use the seven eighths. And that's the way it is with this block. You have to cut the seven eighths, all right? Uh, that's because when we get in here, see, it's, it is the size. If we oversized it, we'd see less of this fabric, okay? It's gonna make a difference on how big it is. It's not going to be, It'll be, it would be bigger out here and out here, but it would take up more of this because you're going to put it on the corner. Okay, so if I were to put a bigger square on this corner, it would just take up more of it. You really don't get to size it. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, so I, I, I know that that's not a good explanation, but at this point, you've got me to tell you when you can bump it up and when you can't. So how about if we just go with that for right now? Sounds good to me. Okay, well, that's why you watch, right? That's why, so, I, that's why I watch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm going to cut this, uh, the 7 eighths increment, like it says. So we're not oversizing this one because we don't have the opportunity to trim it down. Right, right. It would diminish the size of what we see on the other piece. Right. That makes sense. Now, if I cut this entire strip, this 7 eighths inch increment... I'm going to be stuck with a 7 eighths inch complete strip. Well, that's rude. Well, and what are the chances I'll be redo? I'll be needing that again? Not likely. Not likely. So I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to the full increment. So your whole strip For is For my that, whole strip is usable. going to be more usable at a later date. So when I went to, when I go to put this away in my drawer, the leftovers, I could put it in the drawer that's marked the appropriate amount. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut four of these to the correct That's such a good idea because one of those strips was a seven eighters yeah. on one of the blocks. So yeah. I cut the whole strip. And now and you're it was stuck. like a, I don't remember if it was a one and seven eighths or a two and seven eighths or yeah. some business like that. Yeah. But then when I went to go make the make another block, it was short. It was shy. Right, because you couldn't use it because so you needed the full increment. I was stuck with it. Yeah. Well, that was worth the price of admission, Dawn. Was it? Yes, you it was. You learned something there, then. I learned something. Okay, so now I'm going to take these two blocks, you see, or these four blocks, and now I have this whole strip that is very usable. It's not a 7 8 inch increment, and I am going to cut just what I need down to the size I need it. And this gives me an opportunity to use my square ruler because it has the correct uh, lines. And when you're cutting uh, 7 8 inch increments, you really need these little air. Can they see that? Let me put it on this white background, okay? What really helps, Peter, is these little arrows that you can just tuck your corners. So if you're doing, let's say, 1 and 7 8 then you've got that little arrow right there to butt your corner up against so that you really know 
Okay. You're at the seven eighths increment. Okay. Well, that's handy. Yeah. Yeah, that's why these little uh, square up, the square rulers are so nice. So look for the now, arrow. Uh, yeah, and because we have our own table again, show this over here, Peter. Oh, man, I love... The green bucket's I love back. The, I love the soup bowl. The green bucket's back for I scraps. love this thing. Yeah. I always so. like looking in here before we start to see what you've been cutting. Uh-huh. So there's nothing going to be usable in there because you know I use an inch. Well, you know what? I'm doing this thing called slow stitch. Yeah. And we can use all different types oh, of scraps awesome. in our projects. Well, feel free to help yourself to any of the scraps that are okay. in there, okay? So now I need to cut, do the very same thing I just did with this uh, fabric with my uh, red and my blue. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut my fabric strip a whole increment and then cut the strip down. So let me get that cut. And I only need two squares of this. Two squares of this. Look at how wide that uh, salvage is right there. So, you know, instead of having my fabric down there, even with that, I'm going to move my fabric up. I, you know, I'm frugal. That saves an inch. I'm frugal. Well, you do it, you know, 30 times. Right. That's 30 inches. Yeah, I caught myself doing that. And I couldn't figure out why. I'm like, why? Why am I? Why am I doing this? Because Dawn, and then it, it Dawn's dawned, in my ear. And then it dawned on me that Dawn. I've been recording you all this time, and I'm like, oh, okay, so I've been picking up some tricks along Did the way. Did you mean that pun? It dawned on me. <laughs> See what You're I did so right funny. there. You are hilarious. Okay, so now notice while I'm doing this project. I'm not putting my strips in my strip bucket. See my strip bucket, I moved it to here. Okay, it's got my increments on it. I'm just putting it back with the fabrics until I get done with this entire project. Because I might need that very size strip later down the road. And I'm not going to go back and forth from my bin to my, to my uh, fabric. I'm just gonna keep all this fabric collection together while I'm making this project. Now I'm going to oversize. See how raggedy that edge is? It's not mm -hmm. really... I'm not sure that it's completely straight. So I'm going to oversize it a little bit. I've got that good blade in my rotary cutter. How often do you change your rotary cutter? I can't tell you. How often do you use it? You know, you want it to be sharp. You don't want it to be skipping and scratching. And you don't want to be pressing really hard because that hurts your mat. Mats are not cheap, you know. So I'm going to square that up. Put that right there. Move that in a little bit. Some uh, one of our viewers came in the shop and she she says I'm frugal too. She was so proud. <laughs> I said, Oh, join the club. I'm frugal too. <laughs> us frugalers gotta stay together, don't we? Some people call us cheap, but they just don't know. I'm not cheap. Definitely, just. You know, ask yeah, anybody who knows me. You're definitely not cheap. <laughs> look at look at the girls' rulers over there. <laughs> yeah, I buy me some. Uh, I love me or some fabric. supplies. Oh yeah, I love me some fabric. Or thread. Yeah, thread. I got all the thread. Yeah, all the gadgets, all the thread, all the stuff. I don't drink alcohol, and I don't smoke, and I don't do drugs, and I don't go night clubbing. Well, that saves you a lot of money right there. Well. So I think I can justify 
the money that I do spend on my hobby, which is really my job. So, uh, on that. Okay. Well, you got to have good tools for your job You've that you're doing. You've got to have good tools. Okay, let's take that over. Where are we going? We're going to go over to the sewing machine because that's <gasps> the whole deal. That's the whole deal. Meet me at the sewing machine. I forgot to put my blue tape back on after we moved. Oh, no. Yeah, I cleaned everything. So I'm going to have to draw the lines, which I normally draw the lines anyway for you guys. So... Just gonna lay that there, and I was gonna bring that chalk pencil again today and forgot oh, all about it. Forgot about what that. What is my deal with that? I'm just gonna use my pencil here. There's one. This is kind of relaxing. Sitting in drawing your things on. Yeah, I enjoy it. Do you? Yeah. Now, you even know what? I, even though I have the tape on my A lot of people like to uh, like to use a uh, sandboard. Oh. Have you ever used a sandboard no. before? Uh -uh. You take a piece of sandpaper, really fine grit, uh -huh. and you glue it onto a piece of cardboard or poster board or something like that. And then when you lay your block down like this to draw your line, the block doesn't move. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty snazzy. Now, I was having trouble. See, look at my, there's grain here on my counter. Grain, I see that. So it was making my block slide around and not helping me to uh, draw no my line. That's no good. So I just changed over here to my mat, and now look, it's not moving at all. My mat's gripping it, and it's just fine. See that? So um, this is going to be a little bit of time consuming, but if you, I'll have my line on by next week. We just moved this yesterday, or uh, Friday. what is today? Monday. Monday. Today's Monday, we moved it Friday. Okay, now I'm going to switch to my yellow chalk because you'll be able to see that a lot better. Yeah, there's that. Now, do you know what the weather's supposed to be like this weekend? I mean, this week? Is it supposed to be nice, or is it going to rain, or what? I think rain uh -huh. tomorrow, Yeah. 60s on Wednesday. Uh -huh. Wednesday is supposed to be nice. Yeah. Um, that's all I got. Okay, well, you don't want to go too far ahead, because they don't know. You know, from five minutes ago, they don't hardly know sometimes. So, anyway. Um... If I was making a thousand of these blocks, just like this, I'd be having my lines on here, and I wouldn't be drawing all these. Okay. So you got to determine. I see a mouse. Yeah, I think we have a There's mouse. There's a mouse in the, in the corner. What's she doing mouse over there? Mouse in the house. Are you going to fit that through that wall? I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> looks like she's looks like she's fishing that cord through there. Now what I'm going to do first is the black ones, okay? Because I don't have to think when I'm doing the black one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my uh, back crown blocks, which this is my lightest fabric in the uh, in the block that we're making. It's the lightest one. So on the four, if you have different fabrics, you would have two of each. All four of mine are exactly the same. I'm gonna do that. Now, um, Oh, yeah, my machine's on. You can't sew with your shoes on, Dawn. That's right. Thank you, Peter. You're welcome. And show them our new light. Oh, my God, I love this light. This is our new light that we've got. See, it's a little darker over here. And this is called uh, Daylight. Woo! That's nice. It, it swivels. You can swivel it all, any way you need it. And then it's got a gooseneck in two spots. So, look, I can really get that right there. It's down. got a gooseneck and a goose ankle. A goose. Everything is a goose. And so I can get it right down here. I can put it to the back. I can just move it wherever I need to move it to. And it is really nice. Now, there's two different styles. There's it's great for cross-stitch, too. Yeah. Oh, yes. Wool applique. Anything hand-stitched, too. Uh-huh. And there's there's uh, the kind that stands on the floor and then the kind that... Uh, Sits on the desk. ...that clamps onto your desk. This is the floor kind. 
<laughs> oh, Dawn. Yes. Your thread's doing something right here. Oh, yuck. Yeah, you don't want that. Okay. I don't know what it's doing. Let's... Do you want your cone? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. Because you got a big cone over here. Yeah, I do. Oh, we got a visitor. Okay. Pay no attention to the person in the corner. Okay, so if I were using two different fabrics, it's not going to matter. The big square is the background, and the little squares get sewn to the corners. Now, a lot of the times, the pattern will refer to this as a connecting corner, okay? Now, Peter, do you like filming me on that side? Because usually you have always been filming me on the other side. Well, I'm trying to mix it up. Do okay. something different. Okay, well. And, I'll, know, I'll know by the end of today. Okay, and uh, if if the people think that it, he needs to be on the other side, they can tell us if you can see better. And we'll know, too. We watch these videos, even though I turn the volume off. I can almost tell you exactly what I'm going to say when I because I just... I'm weird that way. What are you going to say in five minutes? Well, I don't know about that, but I mean, when I rewatch the video, I can oh. tell what I've said. Now, I won't be able to tell you what I said last week, but tonight when I watch this or whenever you load it up. Okay. Is this iron on? Yes. It's good and hot. Be careful with that, Peter. Oh, okay. I'm going to take my uh, beginner and ender, and I'm going to take that off, and I'm going to do this as my beginner and ender. And I just got it in this little tray here so that I can keep it all together, and it's not all over the place. I need to get some of those trays. Yeah, they're nice. That's, I think you can get them at the dollar that's store convenient. or whatever. Yeah, I need to go get some of those. Yeah. Now... The potato chip block that I'm making, I make mine by doing my flying geese this way. You know, I I go ahead and I, I put it on the corner and I flip and I cut this part off. Uh -huh. In the book, I was noticing the instructions. She uses two half square triangles and puts them together. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. So she makes eight half square triangles and puts the triangles together to make her flying geese. Oh, okay. So just as, you know, it's the same look. I'm trying to remember how I did it. I think I followed her direction. Did you? Like, yeah. Because I get nervous. I don't know how it's going to come out if uh -huh. I do it a different way. Okay, I don't have my lines drawn, so I may not like this. Be bold. Go Be bold. Go for it. Okay. So, anyway, there's that. Here's my little thing. It's going to take me a few uh, episodes to get used yeah, get to in. my... Okay, now I'm going to flip that back and make sure it's right. Looks good. Looking good. Looking good. Take my scissors, cut. Now, if I moved over a half an inch and sewed again, I wouldn't have much of a of a half square triangle. So I wouldn't even have enough for to sew it into anything. So these are just going to get chopped off. Breaks my heart, but... Gotta draw Peter, a line somewhere. Peter can maybe use it in his art. I could use it in my art. Okay, so we're gonna get him a little jar or something, put his things there. Gonna get my uh, clapper. Gonna open these seams. Now, when I get home today, I have 380 half square triangles to make. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Red and white, all scrappy. And I'm excited about that because I'm going to use uh, cake mix papers. Now, uh, on my video I did last Friday, I showed cupcake. Cupcake papers. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to show them next Monday. I'm going to show how to make, use cupcake paper papers. Or maybe I'll do it Friday. And we'll just do Layer it as cake. a we'll do it as a Facebook post. I remember you talking about the last time when we used the cupcake. You were talking about using the layer cake to well, make the. You use the layer cake with the cake mix. The cake mix is the paper. Yeah, cake mix. And the layer cake is the fabric. You're gonna do the you're gonna do layer cake mix. Yeah, yeah. Because you could cut a whole bunch of those triangles. Sixteen. 
That's you what get it was. 16 out of a 10 inch square. That's what it well, was. Well, actually, two 10 inch squares. I watched the video. You said it. So maybe we should do it uh, maybe this Friday as a Facebook post. We could maybe do that. We haven't done a Facebook post for a while. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't been on Facebook much. Right. So. Doing now, a lot of YouTube. Now I've only got two blue squares and two red squares. So I have to divide these up. And now it's not going to do any good to sew right over the black one. So, of course, it's obvious you have to sew on the other side. It's obvious to me, anyway. So, let's put this back on and do the whole story again. Now, is my arm in the way, Peter? Because I kind of feel like I'm, you know, right there in the way with Well, as the long arm. as you don't lift your elbow up. In front of the lens. See, now, if I had oversized this block by another eighth, it would have been bigger, and it would have come up here and here. And I wouldn't have a chance to resize it. It has to be the size that it is. It is so hard to explain why sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. And you know, the only reason I know is through experience. And that's what's going to happen with you guys. You're going to gain the experience and you're going to automatically know when you can and when you can't. And the way you do that is by doing it a couple times wrong. <laughs> You know, when you do something different than what it calls for in the instructions, that's called a design change. When you really mess up, that's called a learning experience. You don't ever call them mistakes. You say, oh, that was a learning experience, or oh, that was a design change. See? So, you got to get the lingo. you got to get the quilting lingo. Do you find that quilting does have kind of a language all its own? It does. I, d I think so, too, just like knitting. You know, I can look at a knitting pattern, and that would make me insane. Well, I'm already insane, but uh, it'd make me go even deeper insane because they just use letters. Yeah, H-S-T. The, uh, those are called acronyms, aren't they? I think so. Yeah, acronyms. I'm not good with acronyms, even though I'm going to call my Peter memory blocks PMB. <laughs> Man, am I such a liar. Okay, I don't like acronyms, but I'm going to use an acronym. So anyway, how funny is that? Okay. Now, if I wasn't talking and yapping and doing all the things that I've been doing, I'm just going to use this starter and stopper because I don't have my line. I can't really do my diagonal piecing very good. So I'm going to put that back over there. I'm going to cut these out. Now look what happens. See that? Nice. Isn't that nice? I love it. Isn't that a fun block? It, it was very fun. Yeah. I love Nick. Now, I've scolded Peter this morning. and I got uh, in trouble, He got in big trouble because I said, well, where are your blocks, Peter? Well, they don't need to see them. They've already seen them. Well, yeah, they do need to see them because everybody likes to see Peter's blocks and uh, compare them, uh, the colors and everything. Because from week to week, you just can't remember everything that you saw the week before. And so I've encouraged him to bring his blocks each week so that we can all see them and love on them because um, it's thrilling when you guys show your blocks. And I'm not kidding. I'm not just saying that to blow smoke. I'm really meaning it. I love, I love it when people bring their things in, their quilts in, and show off. Uh, they don't really show off. Show them to us. Share. They share, share them. them with us. It's thrilling. It's just thrilling. You know, I'll never be able to make all the quilts in my life. So it's just thrilling to get to see them. You and can when... you can live vicariously through others. Oh, exactly. Exactly. And of course, you know, some people we've got one girl in the in the uh, group that's doing this with us. She's doing them with tulip pink fabric. I saw that. Now, I do not have one piece of tulip pink fabric in my house. Do I need to share, some of, my do I need to share some of my fabric no, with you? No, Peter, no. I'm going to get you some of that tulip pink. No. Not that I don't like tulip pink. She's a nice lady and all, I guess. But 
That's just not my style. I don't decorate that way. Well, when and, she does the Civil War, well, and you'll be first in line. Yep, exactly. And um, so I am thrilled, though, to see those blocks. They're so much fun. They're so colorful. Cappy loves a, a good tulip pink, and so does Peter. So I get to see their fun things that they make with them. But see, I just couldn't live with that. That's just not who I am. <clears throat> so to each his own, right? Okay, now this is the fun part when you get to lay them out, okay? You know that the black's gonna go on the outside and it'd be silly to kind of put that there. Well, I don't know, that kind of maybe would be fun. Look at that. <coughs> See, that's a design change right there, right? But what if we do this just like she did in the in the book? Now, what do you think of that blue and the red together, Peter? Is that... I think you nailed it. I think I like that. Because if you went with that darker blue, it would have... Yeah, it would have just gotten lost, Overpowering. I think. It would have. I think you are right. And I right. think they used the same tones in the center... So that way your eye goes around the path. Yeah. In the well, middle. and this is the fabric I'm focusing. Yeah. You know, that's my focus fabric, my Peter memory fabric. So, okay. Let's put this together. Now, am I going to pin? You know I am. Because I have these two seams right here that have to line up. Well, stop moving. Oh, sorry. Okay, got it. Okay. So I'm going to close that up. It helps, too, because I've noticed if I want to, I mean, I don't use pens. I just go for it. You do? I do. Um, but, you know, I, they're not as perfect. Um, but I noticed that the ends don't always match up. Like, one will be longer than the other when I get to the end. You mean like that right there? Uh, down on this end. Like and what about goes, right there? Well, that I line up, but it's when I get to the very end. Sometimes it one piece is longer than the other. So when you open it up, yeah. it's not straight across. That's because you're, of your feed dogs. And See, your feed, feed dogs. dogs are pushing the bottom fabric uh -huh. more than it's pushing the top fabric, and that's what's happening. That's why you pin for accuracy, but if you're happy with your blocks, then they're as accurate as they need to be. I could make a poem out of that, or a song. That could, the Piecer's Poem? That could be like a country western song. And you could talk about your dog, too. Yeah, your dog in your truck. <laughs> So, and your wife that lives in Texas, all your exes that live in Texas. There are a lot of people that live in Texas, Peter. How well, big, how big you, is Texas? I'm telling you, they are building out there. Everywhere you look, there's housing developments going up. And boy, houses are expensive out there. Whew. Oh, I heard. Oh, my goodness. It's ridiculous. I heard. It's ridiculous. But... Yeah, I guess it's the place to be. I like living in Anderson. I've lived there my whole life. Have you lived in a different state besides Indiana? Uh, yes. What state? But not not for long. Oh. So just moved around for my other job, but not a long time. But I'm from here, so. You are from here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I do too. I love it. I get to see more of your sewing machine on this side. You do? Yeah. Is that good or bad? Good for me. Good for you. Okay. I'm going to bring my uh, clapper back. I think we're going to get a new steam iron. I heard the rumor. Oh. I heard a rumor it. that we're we getting a new steam iron. We need it. Like our studio I love is? This, I love this iron right here. Our studio? Yeah, the studio. Yeah, I love that iron it's, too. The one we've got over there is really old. Really, really oh. old. And I think people have left uh, water in it from the different classes. Yeah. And that it's gotten all lined up. And I just don't think that it's um, been cared well, for. Well, it can be a paperweight. I don't think it's been cared for as much as it should have been. you got to take care of your equipment. You're going to spend that kind of money on your equipment. You've got to take care of it, okay? I'm a firm believer of that. I mean, I even dust my irons. With I the paintbrush. Yeah. With the brush. The brush. I, yeah, I get it clean. Okay, now look what I got here. Now look, what I could do is I could do, do that. Do it. Look at that. Do it. I dare you. you look at that. I might make you another one it. like that. No, I'm not going to do it today because I don't want to confuse <laughs> anybody. I know, I know. Because we're making it for the book. 
But we could do that, couldn't we? You know, that would be so exciting. Okay, how many blocks would we have? 72. No, how many blocks would we have if we took each block and made four variations out of oh, it? Oh, my goodness. We'd have 72 times four, <laughs> whatever that is. I love okay, it. But we're going to do this, okay? But nothing says we couldn't do that if we wanted to. Oh, how fun. Okay, I'm going to pin again. You know I am. I'm going to get that middle together. And I'm going to pin on this side. Now, if I had a point there, Peter, it would be a different way of pinning, correct? Yes. But since it's just a seam, and the same here, it's just a seam. It's not a point. But I'm But there. I like how you unfolded it to make sure a quarter inch of the way down it lined up. Oh, you have to. I saw that. You have to, I saw that. yeah. I see what you're up to. Yeah. Okay, let me do this. Yeah, see, I... Gotta I've, take a little peek. You gotta peek. You gotta fold down. And you know what, Peter's nice, is that you're on my right side. So, you know... Oh, yeah. I, you know, I'm right here on the right, right side. So that makes it nice, too. Yeah. Well, we might just have mixed it up a bit and it worked out good yeah lighting's good over here too is it yeah okay. with your fancy new light okay which i'm gonna have to get one of these for my sewing room because this thing's gorgeous i know it is very nice i have three of them and i i, enjoy I can see why one on the cutting yeah. counter one on the sewing station and one on the pressing station yes yes makes sense to me because, you know, I live in one of those ranch houses where they didn't put lights in uh, the ceiling. They've got yeah. just lamps, you, you get, know? You get, like, one light. Yeah. If that. One Our light. living room doesn't have any any light fixtures in it at all. It's all uh, lamps. Does it have a wood-burning stove? No. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to cut all these little hairs off because I don't like them. All right. Look at that. What do we got? Oh, we've got yumminess. Nice. Yumminess. How delightful. Now, I might go home tonight. Of course, you know, I've got those 360 half square triangles to make, but I might go home tonight and make me another one of these and, and turn it around with that X. I think that'd be so fun. Well, heck, you could do it right now. I could. You're fast. I am fast. There you go. Get Look it at cut, that. Get it marked. Get it and sewn. this is the important part right there that those come together. And that happens by pinning and that that center comes together. That's really important, okay? So there you go. When we sew that in, that's going to be down a quarter inch so that it's going to kind of be the same width. So I think that's really pretty. Here's the one in the book. And there's my Peter um, memory block. And let's put them over here, Peter, with the rest. So here are the three that I've done so far that are my Peter memory block ones. And then here are my three. And see if Peter had had his here, we could have shown those two. Now, isn't that fun? That's cool. I love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my memory box out. And I think I'm just, I've been taking my memory box back and forth, but I think I'm just going to leave it here uh, at the studio. And I, what I'm doing is I'm putting my Kim deals on one side and my PMBs on the other side. Peanut butter, and if that was a PBJ. And then I'm going to put that in. But one thing I want to show... Oh, I've got to put this one in. So I've made that one last... I, I just couldn't stop. I had to make uh, for two weeks. So I'm thinking if you guys want me to do that, show two, two at a time, that'd be good. Now, here's my potato chips. My potato chip blocks. I didn't get any more done. Uh, I've got some half done. But I fixed the hinge on my potato chip block. Uh, tin, and I put a bottom in it. Isn't that cute? Nice. Yeah, it was kind of a little bit rusty down there, and I didn't want that to get on my blocks. So, my pile of blocks fits right in there. 
close the lid and now they're safe. No dust. Put it up on my little counter here. I got a little thing going here. I'm gonna put some books here on my bookshelf. I'm gonna bring some of my favorite books. Ooh, that's what I had to do before I brought them from home. I had to see if they would fit. Ah. They just fit. I love these cubby things, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, they make a nice They're storage awesome. for your uh they are awesome. For your sewing room. So, uh, and here's my setup for my table. Show them the whole setup here, Peter. There's my sewing station. Uh, I've got I've got a quilt that may be coming here, and here's my Chloe calendar, of course. Place for my rulers. How nice is that? Uh, this is going to be my ironing station, of course. Here's my station for all my little uh, leftover fabrics. And, oh, I brought this quilt today. I'm going to show you this quilt next week because I've got something to share with you next week. Uh, so, and then this is the cutting table. So here we are in our new uh, digs. We're happy to have you. We're happy you came along to meet us at the sew machine. So until next Monday. Hey, maybe Friday we'll do a Facebook uh, post on those cupcakes and uh cupcakes and layer cakes and uh, that'll be fun okay so look look for that on our facebook page see you later bye